these are some words that are commonly mispronounced. And it wouldn't surprise me if I mispronounced some of these words while I'm reading them. The first word, commonly mispronounced word, and let me know how, you know, if you guys are guilty of this as well, as I will with you. How do you pronounce that? I'm guilty on this one. A lot of times I'll, I will not pronounce the first R. I'll just say February, but it's, both R's are pronounced February. February. It's not February, but that's what I say. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> what about you guys? Now, this is one when Many of us were kids, we mispronounced, but I think most of us pronounce it correctly now. When we were kids, we might have said library. I'm afraid to go to the library. <laughs> library. Looking back, it's kind of funny, but obviously it's library. Library. But that's more of a mispronounced word as a child. Now this one, nuclear. Remember George Bush? He, he would always call it nuclear. Nuclear bombs, right? It's nuclear programs, nuclear or missile technologies, nuclear or missile capabilities. A nuclear weapon. A nuclear test. A nuclear energy to power our economies, nuclear proliferation across the world. And since then, it's increased its nuclear arsenal. Uh, Suzanne, it's nuclear arsenal. Nuclear arsenal. Nuclear arsenal. Nuclear arsenal. Uh, it's nuclear. 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 And I was just talking about nuclear bombs with the UFOs disarming them. But in the back of my mind, because I had just gone over this list, I'm thinking, don't say nuclear. <laughs> now here's one. How would you say this? I'll tell you the wrong way to say it. I'm guilty of this as well. Mischievous. Mischievous. And with me pronouncing it that way, it would be more like that, mischievous. But that I's not there. So it's just mischievous. But I'm, I'm guilty for saying, I've, I'm no, I know I've said mischievous. Uh, here's another one I'm guilty of. I'm sure you guys have done this too. Sherbert. Sure, Bert. Right? Sherbet. But it's sherbet. I know as a kid, I called it sherbet. I called it Sherbert for probably the first 20 some odd years of my life. I didn't know there wasn't a second R in there. And it doesn't sound right saying Sherbet when you've been saying Sherbert for all your life. Let's go take a peek at the comments. I think a beer, Feb Brew. Mischievous. <laughs> That's what I'm guilty of saying. Continuing. This is an interesting one. How do you guys pronounce this one? A L M O N D. I've been mispronouncing it for a long time. I'll tell you what it's not. It's not almond. It's not almond. 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 I still say almond, like almond milk. They're wrong on this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's almond. Now, these next ones are kind of funny because they can be correctly pronounced several different ways. Is it caramel? Is it caramel? Caramel. Caramel. Is it both? Does it depend on what you're having or how you're using that word? Remember those caramel coated apples that you'd get at a fair or that you'd make with your mom or your mom would make for you around Halloween? Yummy. Well, that shit's not good for you now, but in this case, caramel and caramel are both correct. It can be pronounced differently, but it's not necessarily mispronounced. And the same goes with this, right? How do you pronounce this? I guarantee in the chat, you probably will find all three different ways. I usually misspell this word. I'll spell it with two R's and one B. In general, I'll probably say Caribbean. Some people would say Caribbean and they would not be incorrect. Caribbean. 
Caribbean. Caribbean. I would call it Caribbean, although Billy Ocean would beg to differ. He had that song, Caribbean Queen. Remember that? Yeah, this next one, you can say this three different ways, and we'll all agree on the first part of it. Actually, you could say it four different ways, and <laughs> I'll get to the fourth afterwards. And I don't think you'd be wrong any of the ways, any of the four different ways you would pronounce this city. How would I pronounce it? I guess it depends. Like if I'm talking about the football team, it would be the New Orleans Saints. If I'm talking about the city, like I'd love to go to New Orleans. It's more like New Orleans. I guess. New Orleans. New Orleans. You could say New Orleans. So you got New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans, or as they say down in Cajun country, Narlands. So you got four different ways you could say the same city and none of them are incorrect. This one looks pretty simple, doesn't it? How many of us mispronounce this? I'll tell you the incorrect way first. Often. Often. I often say this word incorrectly. The T is basically silent, so it's often, not often. But I know I'm guilty on that one. I know I've said it with the T and without the T. I think for the most part, I don't say the T because I tend not to enunciate because when you enunciate, it just sounds too perfect. It just doesn't come off as being genuine. Where else does some people say warsh? Instead of wash, that's true. Almond. Uh, you know, and, and I'm with you guys, almond. I, I agree. I've always pronounced the L as recently as the last time I said it, which might have been last month or the month before, talking about, you know, the difference between almond milk and I said, just said it there, and uh, coconut milk. Milk is another one. A lot of people will say milk as in M E L K. If I get talking fast, I'll say milk instead of milk. Guilty. <laughs> Almond, indeed. Yeah. That's a good one, too. Real salmon. Salmon. Yeah, like sandwich, which is incorrect, but sa <laughs> salmon sandwich. Caramel. Gotcha. Narlands. Enunciate. Enunciate. No, thank you. <laughs> when people in the South say, bless your heart, what do they, you know what they mean. They don't mean that. <laughs> they say that poor little dumb shit. That's what they're saying. Bless his heart. Bless his little heart. That poor little dumb shit. It's an insult. Yeah, definitely. And they sound so kind and sincere when they say it. You don't want them to say that to you. No, that's not good. Got a few more I want to pass by you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Now this one, we I think we all know, especially here in the United States because of KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Colonel Sanders. I don't know anyone. I don't think I've ever met anyone that's pronounced colonel. <laughs> That, wouldn't that just sound weird? Colin Ol Sanders. <laughs> Who's that guy that founded KFC? Oh, Colin Ol Sanders? What? Colonel. I don't know. Get the balls out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, Colonel Sanders. Yeah, indeed. But, I mean, why isn't there... It, it's pronounced Colonel, so why isn't there an R in there? Who's the, who's the genius that said, we're going to call it Colonel... But we're not going to put an R in the word just to fuck with people. Okay, so I probably have done this. Uh, the miss. <laughs> I am not even going to say it because <laughs> I'd have to say the word before I wanted to. How do you guys say this word? The incorrect way would be pronunciation. And in that case, it would be pronounced more like that pronunciation. I think I've, I've said that before. I'm not sure, but I think I have. But that leads us to the correct way of saying it, pronunciation. Pronunciation. I mean, so far, I'm, I'm guilty on at least half of them at some point in my life. This is one that gets a lot of people. We'll see how you guys say it. 
I know I'm guilty on this and I'll say the incorrect way. I know I'm wrong and I still say it this way. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong, when I'm fucking up because I'm wrong and I'm fucking this word up. The incorrect way, but the way I pronounce it is foliage. The fall foliage is beautiful, but it's foliage. Foliage. I always said foliage. It clearly has the Leah in there, and I refuse to pronounce that part. Foliage. Foliage. Gah. <laughs> this is one where, if you didn't know what the hell it is, if you weren't familiar with it, you'd call it Quinoa. Quin. Oa. Quino. Quinoa. If you didn't, well, for example, let's say that someone gives you a shopping list and you're trying to find this in the store and you go up to a, a store employee and you never saw this word before. Excuse me, please. Could you point me in the direction of the quinoa? And he'd be like, what? Excuse me? Quinoa. What language are you speaking? Quinoa. Oh. Quinoa. Quinoa. R-U-R-A-L. How do you pronounce this word? Looks so simple. Five letters, right? Commonly mispronounced. The incorrect way is rural, and the correct way is rural. It's not ru, it's rur. It's not rural, it's rural. Rural. I think I say it with the ru, rural. Yeah, I do. And I still say that. That probably puts me over half. Half of them I mispronounce. I can spell them all. I'm great at spelling. Pronunciation? Nah. This is an easy one. Most of us know this is Porsche, but other people will say Porsche, which is incorrect. Porsche. I could see how this one could be tricky. How do you guys pronounce it? If you didn't know anything about this word and what it meant and had never heard of it, and we're just trying to pronounce it phonetically, you'd probably say something like entrep entrepreneur entrepreneur based on phonics the incorrect way is entrepreneur that's incorrect entrepreneur entrepreneur it's not newer it's ner that's the difference and i'm wrong on that one too entrepreneur 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 ner as in nerd as in this is kind of nerdy <laughs> but it's fascinating <laughs> And this is the last one. If you didn't know what the heck this is, it would just, it, I'd probably want to pronounce it Sagu. Sagui. <laughs> and this is a transition from one topic to another. It kind of ties them both together. But it's not a Sagu, it's Segway. 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 And that's what I have. There are so many more. Maybe we'll, we'll save some for another night. I thought that was fun. It was uh, just something fun to do. And what kind of got me on this is how, for example, the, the British will say oregano and aluminum, where we say oregano and aluminum. Neither are wrong in each country. I remember when I was in England, we went shopping and I asked the clerk where the oregano is. And he goes, Excuse me? I go, oh, oregano. <laughs> oh, it's right over here. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Christina says, I always had an issue pronouncing put. I say put. Here's another one that I hear a lot. B-E-E-N. I've been thinking. A lot of people will say, I've, I've been thinking. I'm pretty sure bean is probably the correct way, but I never say it that way. I've been thinking about going to the beach. Is it been as in B-I-N, B-E-N, or bean? I've been thinking. Bean. Bin. And then you have different dialects, like people from up north or Canada. They, they'll, like, I'm going out, out of the house. I don't know how many of those words I had. I had a bunch of them, probably at least 20. And more than half, I pronounce it incorrectly. <laughs> but because so many of us also pronounce it incorrectly, and nobody says, hey, that's not the way you say that. Well, I mean, the rest of the world is pretty much 
wrong. <laughs> when you look at it from our perspective. Yeah, Mario and Christina say, Ben, I've been thinking. Now, I've been thinking. Are you thinking about, thinking about beans? That doesn't make sense. Unless you really love beans. Canadian accent, yep. Out and about, yes. That's that's certainly a giveaway. There's so many people that come down here to Sarasota, Siesta Key, as snowbirds. And for six months, I, I hear that Canadian accent. I've met a bunch of people, good people from Canada. Yeah. Oh no. In a world where fashion was stuck in the past, came the N5D quantum tie-dye t-shirts, revolutionizing the way we think about fashion. Gone are the days of boring, bland fashion. Introducing the N5D quantum tie-dye t-shirts, where every shirt is a work of higher dimensional art. Say goodbye to the same old, same old, and hello to the most epic, most legendary, most quantum tie-dye t-shirts in the universe! In 5D quantum tie-dye t-shirts, where fashion meets quantum coolness. If you want killer t-shirts like this, high vibrational, high energy shirts, go to in 5 d dot net check it out there and i hope you've been checking out all the links that are going on below join me on patreon right there uh, and so on and so forth so until the next time folks i'm greg from in5d.com in5d.net zentasia.com send you all infinite love and light from my heart to yours take care everyone